I, I like the freedom that comes. I like being able to go out and not think. And uh, I just enjoy uh, the challenge. And, uh, you know, I never, ever, ever dreamed that I would be hit by a car. He's always said he has two passions besides his family. And that's biking and preaching. And he's a good preacher. Keeps my interest, so. <laughs> I rode as a kid, like most kids did, uh, in, in the projects in Pennsylvania. But I really started in the mid-70s uh, with uh, a, an old three-speed Schwinn that was way too small for me. And then I um, gradually moved up into getting a more sophisticated bike as time moved on. Well, the first one was a, a hit and run. The mirror on the car's uh, passenger side hit me. He took off and never even, he never even used to brake light. Uh, that, that was the least serious of the two accidents. The second one was in February of 2017. I, to this day, I still don't know what happened. I had ridden, at that point, about 21 miles, and I, it could have been fatigue, I, I don't know. But I remember looking at the road and seeing a hole in the road, and next thing I remember is yellow flashing over me uh, because I had a yellow jer um, a jacket on, and I was doing a, an endo. What I can see from where the guy found me, uh, I still don't know how I got to where I did without any recollection at all. I, they called 911, the guy called 911 for me, and when they started asking me questions, I, I wasn't really clear, and so all I did uh, was point to my road ID, which gives my wife's phone number and my medical information um, and any allergy I might have. And they were able to, to uh, talk to my wife and make arrangements for her uh, to the hospital to see me. It was a shock to see his face. So I was scraped up. It was, it was scary. They diagnosed me. I had uh, broken a collarbone, uh, three ribs. Uh, I did a face plant and did some serious damage to my face and then also split my helmet in three places. I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> um, I don't know that I'd ever had that much pain. Knowing that I was able to get a hold of her that they were able to call her, talk to her, make arrangements to get her to the hospital made a big difference. It, there was just a big relief that she was there. I just think it's a very, for us, for him, it's been very uh, instrumental in keeping things safe. I have this one here that I wear all the time. I never take it off. I have a fixed ID, and I have one that's on my right arm as well. In the wintertime, I have one that's Velcro that goes on the outside of my leg. And I jokingly said, when someone asked me, why you have three? I said, well, if I lose a part, I still have two other parts. <laughs> that did not, <laughs> that, that, that didn't sit well with my wife. <laughs> I just looked at him like, you are so crazy. What, why would you even tell me this? If I am found on the side of a road, which I hope I never am, that the road ID will say, this is who I am. This is how you save, help save me. If you don't have a road ID, you need to get one.